I thought I said only the Neiman Marcus card. But, Mother, school starts on Tuesday. Cindy, this is what I'm talking about, responsibility. Honey, you're a senior now. Why can't you be more mature, like the Miller boy? Huh? Mother, get serious. the one special thing you miss most about the old hometown. Cindy's name on TV! Mind if I get a little personal? <laughs> what I really miss the most always made me feel so good after football practice. You're so lucky. I miss that hydro massage machine back in the old high school gym. Well, the old high school misses you too, Bobby Hilton. Good luck with the Hawkeyes. Stocky Jones. Cindy, you guys, it's so felony. Come on. I mean, he's got a lot on his mind, right? Football oh, yeah. and everything? Look, we're late, okay? Yeah, Let's yeah. go. Going in. Oh. my point. Wouldn't you like to hang with them? You have been hanging at Cindy Mancini's now for, what, five years? I bet she doesn't even know your name. You got a crush on Cindy? Huh? No. Well, most living organisms do, but she's way out of our league. She's even out of their league. Mancini, looking good. Thank you. Like I knew you would. Why don't you take a shower, Quince? A cold one? Yeah. Oh, that's like a flat and full pad there. I'll see this here, no question. Ah, uh, hey guys, back to school party at my place. Cool. I'm there. I'm thrilled. <laughs> Check it out, dudes. New recruits. Being a senior is going to be a beautiful thing. I can taste it now, man. Oh, my bad. This is supposed to be the biggest year of our lives. The prom, parties, homecoming. We're supposed to have memories. Memories? We'll have plenty of memories. Yearbook committee, video parlor, card games on Saturday nights. Lots for retards. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. And yeah, we do have a lot of great memories. But be honest. 
Wouldn't you like to be popular? It has to be in a clique. No. What happened to us? We were all friends in elementary. That's because we were all forced to be in the same room together. But hey, junior high, high school, forget it. Jocks became jocks. Cheerleaders became cheerleaders. We became us. I like us. Mm -hmm. I, do. I just think it would be more fun to party with those guys our senior year. Go to the games. We go to all the games. We sit in the visiting section, Kenneth. At our own school. Now there's the answer, buddy. If you want to be popular, you get one of those. And you get one of those. Yeah, right. My 1500 wouldn't buy the wheel. You can rent them, you know. Yeah. You know, anytime you want to borrow this little beauty for a night on the town, it's yours. Thanks. <clears throat> you missed this one. I get it. I get it. Baby. Baby? I thought she was your little sister. Oh, Rock. Mother. Mom, <laughs> can I borrow your sweet outfit tonight? Cindy, I said no. I'll take care of big sister. He's on a yacht, hunk. Good word, Mom. So, uh, I'm glad you made the squad. You know, you girls are so important to the team. I mean, your help is so crucial between games, too. Keeping uh, our spirits up. Great. What can I do to help? Ronald, not at the table, please. So, have you saved up enough money? Yeah, $1,500. Yeah, I mowed 331 miles of grass this summer. That's four dollars and fifty-four cents per mile. Mm, the Ronald Miller story. My life on a mower. Hmm. How much is the microscope? Telescope. Oh. Yeah. Now it's a thousand dollars and it's on sale. And then I'm going to deposit the rest in a money market account. I'm proud of you, son. You work, you earn, you save. You ask. Hey, Big Dave, how about uh, spotting me a 20 to purchase some necessities? Why, what's up, son? Preschool jam session at Julie's. <laughs> okay. And what about you, Ronald? You got any back-to-school parties lined up? Yeah, the Saturday night card game. Ooh, mm -hmm. cards with the tarts. Mmm. Hey, bro, I'm only kidding. I mean, who could beat a night of cards, chips, dips, and dorks? Well, guys, read them and weep. What's your deal? Ronald, your deal. Let's do something different.
What do you mean? We've been playing poker for two years. Let's play another game. Dealer's choice. Hearts. Fred, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. God, can I pet it? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's dead. Ooh, cool outfit. Ooh. What a severe sway. Guys, it's no big deal. Um, Bobby sent it to me from Iowa. You know they have fine leathers down there. Oh, yeah. The best leathers come from Rome, Paris, and Des Moines. Um, I don't remember this. I was just in your closet yesterday. Um, I probably had it somewhere else. I don't know. Hey, friend, you want to go mingle a little bit? My mom won't let me near sway. It's too hard to clean. <laughs> I know. My mom feels the same way. Did I tell any of you girls about my mini scholarship offers? Hey, sad boy. Oh, yeah. Prince, huh? Oh, oh, watch it. Oh. Sorry, hon. Oh, Don't worry, it's only wine. Just rub some salt on it. It'll come out. I mean, it's not like I ruined it. <laughs> Same price. I can tell you this five inch telescope. Oh, it's only five inches. Well, it has an optical inverter. Come on, take a look. Take a look. Gives you an erect image rather than upside down. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I see the erection. Yes, I, I relate to your dilemma, miss. I really do. But we have a policy of uh, no exchanges, especially uh -huh. after a garment has been marinated in riffle. All right, now I will compromise, all right? Um, I, I will work here after school and on weekends. Would you listen to me? I will work here after school and on weekends, and all you need to do is give me a replacement outfit as an advance. Listen, honey, I, I'll repeat your alternatives one last time. You can keep your outfit and dye the rest of it cranberry, or you can purchase a new one. Would you please help me? I will do anything. Not that Are you high? I want to rent you. You want to rent me? Yeah. You pretend you like me, and we go out for just a few weeks, and that will make me popular. Just going out with me is not going to make you popular. Well, I have a thousand dollars. It says it will. I think you've mowed one too many lawns. You're right. I believe we have decided against purchasing the outfit.
McDonald. I said 805. I'm here, right? Relax, anyway. It's only school. Yeah. Well, this is not my average opening day. I'm about to walk the cool hallway. I usually go the long way through the library. Would you ease up? I mean, I'm the one who's gonna have to hold a press conference when we're staying together, right? right. Okay, now let's get this deal straight one more time. Um, we only pretend to hang, right? Uh, no hand-holding, no kissing, and I get my lunch hour off. But that's not our deal. I need more return on my investment. Well, there's no way I'm holding your hand in public. I mowed 286 miles for you. Okay, one lunch. There are five days in a school week. All right, Donald, two lunches. Three lunches. And the pep rally on Friday. Four lunches, that's it. Okay, deal. Now, just remember, this is our sworn secret for life or longer. You promise? Yeah, yeah, I promise. Anyway, how bad could it be, right? It's only for one week. No, no, it's one month. One month. Yeah, I guess. Okay, one month. Okay. Okay. Now, if I'm gonna do this for one day, we have to do something about your style. I mean, it's like non-existent, okay? Take off that hat. And rub that in. Okay, um, take off those glasses. Go. Let me take a look at you. Aye. Nope, turn around. Oh, shh. Okay. Go. The sleeve. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Fine. Turn around and back up. Yes, yes. Big improvement. Yes. Okay, Donald. We're ready. Oh, Cindy, one last thing. Yeah. My name is Ronald, not Donald. Let's do it. That's right. Let's do it. Let's put my collar off. Trophy, put it down there. We want ours to be man, all look alone. At, who's the dick with ears? Oh, yeah, man. It's that Wimpus Miller guy. I don't get it. It must be for charity. I think that's Ronald Miller. No way. It must be a transfer. Wrong, and I think I'm puking. Hi, Pat's Barb. Um, you all know Ronnie? Yeah, I think. Didn't you, like, used to mow our lawn? Yes. And you have the nicest pair of rhododendrons in town. Right of who? Um, I'll see you guys in Homac, okay? What did he say? I don't care. Dig on your shirt. Well, class, any interesting experiments this summer? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I grew spores and fungi in my parents' refrigerators. <laughs> <laughs> now he's homeless. How come he didn't meet me in the library? Uh, sorry, I forgot, you know, first time. What's with the weird outfit? Um, it's a designer original. <laughs> yeah, that's a new telescope. Well, I didn't exactly buy it yet. A thousand dollars is a great deal to part with, and I don't. Mr. Miller, you seem quite talkative this morning. Why don't you recite the bones of the upper appendicular skeleton? <laughs> All 64. Wimpy now, so I'll get to the main issue here. Cindy. What were you doing with the lawn boy? We're friends. Since when? Excuse me, Cindy. Friends? Yeah. Or... Mm -hmm. Well, what about Bobby? Yeah. Come on, we just want some answers, all right? Guys, why don't you take a look at my forehead? Do you see a sign that says information? Ooh. Ooh. I didn't think so. Ooh. <laughs> Girl.
lunch was part of our deal, but I didn't think it meant the same table. <laughs> well, I thought it would be a little more believable. Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, you did treat us. Aren't you in the wrong section? Losers are to the left. Then I guess she'll be making a right. That's the asshole section. grade together, uh, but I haven't seen him since then. <laughs> I read in the paper that you and Ricky will probably make all county, maybe even all state this season. Oh, really? You go to the game? Everyone. I haven't seen you there. I have. You sit in the visiting section, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he sits there to rouse the other team. It's psychological warfare. Yeah. I almost got my butt kicked three times. <laughs> that. Now that's your spirit. Yeah. Risking your life for the team. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Ronald's over in no man's land, and he's still alive. <laughs> what does he think he's doing, Tim? He must be helping him with their homework. Yeah. First morning of school, homework? <laughs> Check it. I got the knot. Blood sugar level was any lower, I'd be a corpse. Oh, thanks for stopping. No problem. I stop here every day anyway. Why didn't you eat lunch? I don't know. I guess I just get nervous around these guys. Hi. Hi. John. Now is your chance. Okay? Why don't you go over there and invite them to come over here and join us? Okay. Good idea. Okay. Okay. Guys, come on over. Pizza's on me. Microscope. It's a tell. <clears throat> I decided to wait for the big Columbus Day sale. Where are you off to? I'm going to a party. At John Richmond's with Cindy Mancini. Cindy Mancini? Mm -hmm. Senior captain of the cheerleaders? Yes. Most beautiful girl in the history of this county? Mm -hmm, that's her. Well, I'm late. I got a bolt. Bolt? Something stinks in suburbia. Yes, ma'am. Huh. Um, did I did I forget to uh, pay you last week? Oh no, ma'am. I'm I'm here to pick up Cindy. Cindy? Yes, ma'am. Your daughter. Oh, Cindy. Uh -huh. Bye. Cindy. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to your mother. She'll get over it. Is something the matter? Yes, there's something the matter. Ronald, I'm, I'm usually picked up in some sort of mechanized transportation, you know. I'm sorry. It's just, it's a nice night, Cindy. It's only a few blocks. I am not going on a nature walk. I can't believe I let you negotiate a Saturday night. I mean, what, we, we had lunch all week together. I stood near you in the hall. I even took you out for pizza. And, and I waved to you at the gate yesterday. I mean, Saturday night was not part of our deal. Bobby hasn't called? I don't think that's any of your business. Cindy, here Bobby was a big-time football star, but there, he's just a freshman trying to make it. 
I'm sure he's thinking about you. I'm sorry. Sorry? Hey, I'm the one who forgot my dad's car. It's just that I haven't had that many dates in the last uh, 16, say, 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of this suit, huh? Elegant? Rolling? <laughs> What's a two-word phrase for late and inconsiderate? Oh, 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 I got it. Uh, Ronald Miller. <laughs> Hysterical. He'll be here. Yeah, he's probably having a late lunch with Cindy. The least he could have done is drop off the dip and chips. The cold brew is just not the same. So what's the real reason why they call you Big John? <laughs> well, how about I show you? <laughs> hey, great game, Big John. Oh, thanks. Hey. So, um, you brought Cindy here? No. Yes, well, we came from her house together, so, yeah. Well, hey, anyway, you think you can handle Brew? Sure. You got an A&W? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a funny guy, though. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Dude, I got a lot of girl in my man. I mean, he's bad. Oh, but there's no need for panic because John Richmond is a socially responsible human being. Hi. Hi. We're starting to buy this. I mean, he went from totally geek to totally chic. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Yes, please. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. Right. Good morning. Well, how was your weekend? Oh, it was great. How was yours? Well, uh, Friday, uh, really got my face rearranged by a visiting fan trying to save me a seat. And Saturday, you stood us up the cards. And hey, Sunday, never returned any of my calls. Damn, I'm sorry. Yeah, for which one? I said I'm sorry. Can we please terminate this? Let's do something this weekend, just me and you. Okay, Friday night. I can't. Saturday. Well, I was thinking more like Sunday afternoon. Great, I'll call you for an appointment. Oh, great, all right, I'll see you Sunday. Hey, yo, gentlemen, there. How's it going? <laughs> you know, when I offered you a ride home, it wasn't to get you to wash my car. I don't mind. Actually, I kind of like it. Hey, you're a hard worker. Work's not really my thing. Cheerleading's hard work. You do it well. I guess. But, I mean, what I mean is that I don't do much else except for shop and hang out. You can do anything you want. Anything you put your heart and your mind into. I believe that. Um, I'll be right back. Do you want anything from the kitchen or anything? No, thanks. Promise? Promise. But you should be proud of it. 
You're talented. And you're drenched. <laughs> Tell me where we're going. What are we doing? Horseback riding? A picnic? N nope. Since it's our last official date, I thought we could check out one of my favorite places. Well, what's in the box? You'll find out. <laughs> okay. Trust me. It'll be fun. Okay, let me guess. We out of gas? Come on, Ronald. I thought we outlawed this kind of stuff. Follow me. Wait a second. You're nuts. I mean, I don't usually scale walls on dates. You can do it. Of course I can do it. history, not the stuff we memorize in books. Are these real bullet holes right here? Yep. Follow me. The Navy found this one last year off the coast of Japan. Erosion study on it. After 40 years at the bottom of the ocean, this is all it rusted. My grandparents sure know how to make things that last. How do you know all this stuff? Well, the pilot who ditched it in 1944, he came back a few weeks ago to take a look at this. He stood here and looked at this thing the whole day. What's that? Tycho. An asteroid crashed there and broke the moon. Broke the moon? Yeah. Made a crack in the moon a hundred times the size of the Grand Canyon. And on the right is a sea of tranquility. The first spaceship from Earth landed there. The day I was born. That's why you're so into astrology, right? <laughs> Astronomy. No. It's just up there is a future world. By the time of my dad's age, people will be living there and working. Maybe even us. different now. It's not as mysterious or romantic. I'm sorry I ruined it for you. You didn't ruin it. 
I just changed it, I guess. <sighs> um, there's something really important we need to discuss. I was wondering when you'd bring this up. I'm new at all this. We're gonna have to rely on your experience. Well, let's just do it naturally, you know, with no planning. How do we do it? Our official breaking up tomorrow. Right. Right, that's exactly what I was thinking about. The breakup, us ascending our fake relationship. I mean, I don't even know who ever believed it. Us going out, you, me. That does seem kind of unrealistic. Okay, so. How shall we do it? Stage a big fight? A lover's quarrel? No, we don't have anything to fight about. Oh, that's okay. We can make something up. Let's see what people fight about. Well, we wouldn't want to damage your reputation. Reputation? And I think a small, dignified ceremony is probably the best way to... Me? The best way to... Yeah! <laughs> Um, I did a little thinking, too. No, actually, I did quite a bit of thinking, and I decided that you're breaking me. What? Broke. Bankrupt. Chapter 11? What are you talking about? This. I'm dry. Hey, I can't keep up with you. I'm not a bank. 11. Would you stop it, please? This isn't dignified. Dignified? One month, you draped all over me like a cheap fucking suit. Now I'm not dignified? This is not necessary. Would you show some maturity? Like your precious Bobby? Yeah. 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 Well, if I was as mature as him, I probably wouldn't have called you either. I'm tired of you comparing me to Bobby. And in fact, I'm tired of you. Period. <laughs> Poor Cindy. It's awful the way Ronnie annihilated her. I mean, I don't know what she ever saw in him. He's such a... such a heartbreaker. Yeah, that's it. The roster, man. You're one badass dude. Hey, listen, you don't mind if I try to get tired of Cindy now that you're finished with her, do you? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Love it, baby. I was a great act this morning. That slap was so real. We are talking Oscar nominations. Mm. Yeah, well, we gave him a good show. The audience loved it. What an excellent four weeks. Your friends really took to me, all because of you. Ron, it was like a job. I mean, you bailed me, and I pretended to like you. And I was only honoring our rental contract. Yeah, well, it worked. Popularity sure beats being treated like a social leper. <laughs> Let me tell you. Popularity isn't perfect. I mean, it almost feels like a job sometimes. Do you remember that suede outfit that I wore? Yeah. Yeah, well, that was me trying to impress people. I have to work at it. So does everybody else. Cindy? So keep your poetry in. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Ronald. Whatever happens with the popularity thing, you know, stay yourself. Don't change to please me. Me change? Never. That's right, I'm here. <laughs> Hey, baby, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Oh, ladies. Right. That's right. Mom, Dad, send money, please. I'm broke. Hey, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, ladies. You're looking fine. This is Sam. Thanks, Ronnie. Looking rather tasty yourself. <laughs> I love your hair. It's so, so saturated. Oh, it's nothing major. Just a little bit. Yeah, 42 gallons. Oh, you're taking me to scoop Saturday night. Saturday? Yeah, I believe I have that evening liberated. Wonderful. I hope so. Brian, this is gonna be tough enough, dog. I'm gonna need your advice. Barbara, I was gonna ask him out. Relax, Pat. It's only October. Yeah, right. How about some tunes? Your dad sell aluminum siding? No, he's the president of Tic Tac Tiles. Why? <laughs> uh, this car sort of reminds me of my granddad's. Hmm. So how come you asked me out? You went out with Cindy. She is Cindy Mancini. <laughs> you can't argue with that logic. Hey, look, there's Ronald and his dad's Chrysler. Sure. <laughs> I, I love station wagons. I'll tell you what, you may like it, but once the cool see that car, they're gonna remember who he is. Yeah. This is an interesting mode of transport. <laughs> sort of uh, antiquated, like. Yeah, I call it my um, undercover car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you snake! Don't be shifty with the boys. This car's perfect, complete with plush blanket. That's strategy, my man. All right. This ain't just a car, man. This is an unleaded love <laughs> machine. Yeah, unleaded. <laughs> Bet you can make some uh, sweet sweat back there, huh, Barb? Hey, no complaints out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those jocks sure have great taste in cars, huh? Shut up, Lester. I just don't get it. I propose we look for a new port. Just so. Uh-oh, I know that look. <laughs> Oh. Okay, now hold your fire, Big John. Nobody's in the toxic waste. <laughs> right there, perfect. <laughs> no! 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 I mean, it's not like that takes me skill. Oh, I don't know. For him, it's like an art form. Oh, that's a real fucking spot, Ronnie. Oh, come on, we're guys. Oh, uh, yo, Pats, keep an eye on my guy. I gotta hit the little girls. All right, hurry up. What? what? You're taking me to the Columbus Day dance on the 16th. I am? Yep. Well, what about Barbara? I thought she was your best friend. Well, she is. But I mean, you know, friends share their stuff with friends, you know what I mean? Sure, friend, no problem. I, I bet you're a really sexy dancer. Oh, yes, you won that wager. I have moves that defy the laws of gravity. Ooh, I bet you do. Mm. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Watch this, I'll bet I'll kick him. Mm-hmm. Chuck? Chuck, I need a TV for a few minutes. No. Oh, Chuck, I just need to see the end of American Bandstand. No. <laughs> Please, Chuck, I'm begging. What we have here is something I just learned called the law of supply and demand. I shall supply you 
this remote control, but I'm going to demand, say, uh, two bucks. Wrong. That is not how the economic theory works. Look, I learned it in seventh grade, not Harvard. Okay. Let me give you the theory of relativity. Either you put on bandstand now, or I have one less relative. I'll put on bandstand just for you. My famous gourmet pop. First screen shape. Spotlight like dance. Ultra new weight music. an American bandstand. I'm talking cheerleaders, football players, local socialites. He's not even associating with Kenneth anymore. Come on, Chucky. I think it's groovy that he's making new friends. He's allowed to have fun. He is. Besides, I was talking to my dad. It's like the dude's not weird anymore. Clark? We thank our two exchange students from Lo Swahili, Charles Kibengi and Sunday Ubuki, for recreating the African anteater ritual here on PBS African Cultural Hour. African Cultural Hour. Guys. Kenneth, this is your big idea. Why don't you pay for this? Hi, you guys. as hard off the field as you do on? Well, uh, I did letter in three indoor sports. <laughs> mm. What a wonderful group of young adults we have this year. But I better check the bathrooms. Hello, Ronald. Oh, hi, Mr. Webley. It's Mingle. Look, it's a nerd herd. <laughs> Ronnie, I'm becoming a punchaholic.
Pretty severe there. Yeah, where'd you get those hot moves? I have friends in exotic places. Oh, yeah, I like to wear Rio, Paris. Oh, really exotic. Beautiful downtown Burbank. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cindy! Hey! Look, the name is Cindy, and don't call me babe. I just want to say hello. Then just say it. Oh, why don't you get tranquil? Just trying to be friendly. Why don't you be friendly with your flock, okay? I owe all my friends to you. Ha! Huh. Like, I really want credit for this. I mean, your disciples are making fools of themselves. I mean, I've seen zombies with more individuality. Yeah, like your college boy. What's his name? Biff. Don't give me that. His name happens to be Brent. There's a difference. Distance relationships? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> then why don't you reach out and touch someone? Hello. <laughs> I happen to know that in the whole school, there's only one other titty quite this pretty. Really? Mm hmm. I'm sick. Yep. <laughs> That's it. I bet you've never seen two like these before. Well, my parents do have cable. Oh, they do, do they? Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't you want to touch me? Oh. <laughs> wow. I can't believe this. <laughs> it's like oh, like... God. <laughs> Seventeen years, three months, and five days. Whew, that's a long time to wait for some tit. <laughs> Without an atmosphere, the Earth would be a far different place. It might look like the moon. Our exploration of the moon showed us that it is nearly a dead planet today. But it provided one very important piece of information. I haven't seen or heard from you in three weeks. I'm not a mutant, Ron. I realize I may be obsolete in your new world, but I'm not dead. We know now the moon, as well as all the other bodies in the solar system, were heavily bombarded in their first billion years. Then about three and a half billion years ago, this bombardment slowed to a fair trickle as most of the solid chunks. You got it there, son? Whoa, oh, 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 Ronald! No mischief tonight. Now, the police are really cracking down this oh, year. Ed, come on, have a little faith. See... All right, we set up there? Yep. Check it out. We got some boiled tomatoes, <laughs> rotten eggs, and the piece, the resistance. 
The ship bump! <laughs> Human feces? No, a doggy do. But it's just as efficient, bro. Here, sniff. A sniff? This? God. Hey, Ronnie. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. What's that Oh, dude, classic, man. We have done the same house four years in a row. Like tradition now, huh, Ricky? You know it. And your son is the most important mission. Drop that net on any punk that gets near our front door. I'm gonna personally deliver one of them to the police. Yes, sir. sir. said that you said that friends share Patty. You've had him two you weeks mean she's and attacked him for two weeks. Whoa, wait a minute. First of all, if I recall correctly, you still have Bobby. Secondly, you quit Ronnie, so that makes him public property. You guys, mm -hmm. that's real romantic. I mean, he sounds like a restroom. <laughs> First of all, I don't have Bobby. And secondly, I didn't think that my best friends would be draped all over him like a cheap one. Sin. He's cute, sweet, good. Oh, come on, you guys. A lady never talks. Yeah, next time I see one, I'll remember that. <laughs> There's the target. <laughs> You know, I know that a house, it's not very far from here. It's right down the street. Our senior year, our last mission. <sighs> Final ship on. It's tradition and shit. Let's go! Come on! <laughs> With your foot up on each flank, and you ship out front door. No, I won't do it. I told you we wouldn't You're do still it. a nerd, huh? Give me this shit. No, I'll do it. Come on. Oh. I don't want to do this. This is a fine-looking bird, Judy. This is what got me in French class. Mm. Ronald? Thank you. Let's talk. Let's see yours, Stibling. Uh, I didn't get mine yet. You're the only one from kindergarten through college who didn't. You didn't get yours yet? Let me repeat. I did not get mine yet. Relax. Reason to raise your voice. Back to nursery school. Look, these are my friends, okay? You could say hello to your friends when you gave me a chocolate milkshake extra thick. What? Read my lips. Chocolate milkshake extra thick. Two C's, three B's, and one A. Outstanding, son. You made your improvement, Chucky. 
Oh, yeah, big deal. Three Bs and two Cs. I've been getting straight A's since birth. So? So? So everybody doubts the whereabouts of my report card. That's real fair. Nobody doubts you. You said you didn't get it yet. And I didn't. Hey, it's just brought a concern, bro. <sighs> See, here is the primate example. You're raising a dog-chopping homicidal maniac. And what do you do every time you see him? You give him money. Great. Chilling. Shut up, Chuck. I was talking to Ma, Dad. Shut up, Chuck. Here's your shake. Sit up thick. This isn't thick. Oh, well, let me check the consistency. Looks thick to me. No. Make it a date. Oh, sweet. Okay. Love you. Hey, Kenneth. Let me explain. It's been long enough. Will you talk to me, damn it? Okay. Well, have you always psycho, but you ain't invited. Invited to what, man? What are you talking My about? My house? New Year's Day? Party? Full games? Right. Party? Cheese right. games? Yeah! <laughs> oh, man, though, if I can recover from my party, they'll book me a couch though. You got it? Book me a bed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody wants her ass bad, man. <laughs> Get it. Hey. Hi. Long time no talk, huh? Yeah, I've been kind of busy. Yeah, well, that's popularity, you know. It's real time-consuming. Um, I was thinking that maybe sometime you and I could go to the airplane graveyard. You're not under any contractual obligation to me anymore. I wrote a new poem. It's called Broken Moon. Um, it starts... Why don't you save it for your college boy? I wrote it for you. You ignored the Donald Miller dork for 17 years. Now you want to ride on the Ronnie Miller Express. I don't want to ride the Ronnie Miller anything. Looks like you're the only one. Who? Iris? Oh, yeah, she's a big conquest. She's given more rides than Graham. Well, at least your ticket won't cost me a thousand bucks. Cindy. I've learned to appreciate the finer things in life. I even travel with my own wine. You never know the quality you may encounter at a soiree. Very classy. Mm -hmm. I'm into class. It's my new thing. Take it 
in school. Oh, I am hot. Face it, Ronnie. You're it right now. Oh. I'm it. And that's why you're with me. Oh. You won't respect me. I respect you immensely and intensely. Mm. You do? I do. This summer, my wish is for you to hold me in your arms in a sea of deep blue. Together at last. Together as two. Oh, my. Great, huh? Ha! All of you thought we were a couple. What a joke! Ronald Miller paid me 1,000 bucks to pretend I liked him. What a deal, huh? $1,000 to go out with him for a month. This guy. Oh, God. He bought me. And he bought all of you. He was sick and tired of being a nobody. Yeah, and he said that all of you guys would worship him if we went out. And I didn't believe that. I was like, no way. And he was right. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He was right. Our little plan worked, didn't it, Ronald? The dance, that stupid dance. What a bunch of followers you guys are. I mean, at least I got, at least I got paid. Come on. Ricky, John. Uh, um, 
Yeah, we'll clear everything up tomorrow. <laughs> everything is cool, really. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Siberia. I know, man. Mutants over there won't even go near him. You know, I knew he was scamming us all along. He went from, like, totally chic to totally geek. Look at that. He's been banished. You should have known that our kind won't mix with their kind. Man. Our what kind? That was, come on, their kind? That's BS. He may be a moral leper now, but he had the fast lane for four months. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, $250 a month for those cheerleaders isn't an unwise investment. Yeah? Check this out. Oh, oh, Incoming! Direct hit. <laughs> Didn't you take economics? You could head me for $49.95. <laughs> Just acknowledge my existence. I think this is easy for me. Come on, you know I was. 
was an asshole to you and to thousands of others. But Kenneth, Kenneth, it's you I gotta straighten this out with. <laughs> you shit on my house, man. No. You shit on my house! The quiz will cover every muscle from the levator scapula to the spinalis thoracic. It will consist of 15 multiple choices and five mini essays. Your score will then account for 20% of your final grade. Good luck. Sorry about having to come in here. But I have to talk to you. I realize what a jerk I became. All I ever did was think about you. Dream about being part of your life. <sighs> and then I got that stupid idea. And I let it turn me into something I'm Sicko pervert. I remember you from the dance. You morally depraved psycho. Detention one month. Becky, will you please have a letter of Thanks. You nuked my brother. What? You took him from geek status to king status to no status. Chucky Miller, right? He's resorted to sending his messenger boy. Boy? I see no boy here. <laughs> you think you shut me up? I didn't. Well, let me try again. They've said it was good for my complexion. There's a call for you on my line, somebody named Donald. I don't know anybody named Donald. Tell him I'm out of the country or something. Okay. I know she's in the country, Mrs. Mancini. I saw her today. Well, my daughter doesn't know anyone named... Ronald, is that you? Why did you say your name is Donald? I guess I made a mistake. Bye bye. Um, what do you say? First he's a geek, and then you start going out with him, and then he's a geek again. Honey, I don't know what a geek is. I guess at the present time, a geek is Ronald Miller. Who says? Hmm.
I told her that you had a chemical imbalance and you are seeking psychiatric help. I need to talk to you. Every time I called, you were either taking a bath, washing your hair, or you're out of the country. That was a good one, by the way. I tried to get you alone at school, but I got a month's detention. Yeah, you're very big in bathrooms, aren't you? Just hear me out, and then I'll leave you alone. Okay. Oh, you, you demolished me New Year's Eve. But see, I realized you did me a favor. You brought me back to reality. All I ever wanted to do was get close to you. And then, when I finally got there, it wasn't me anymore. Cindy. Oh, Cindy. I was just hoping we could sort this out. You know, the real me and the real you. That's all. Okay. But not at 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay. I'll come back at 11. I'll be washing my hair. <laughs> Out of the country. That's my favorite one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that right? Good job. Really? Oh my god. What's happening, guys? That yeah. nerd alert, man. It's in our quadrant, too. Kenneth Worman with Patty? No way. Thanks so much. I swear I don't know what I would have done without you, really. No problem. Just, just uh, take your time and follow the steps. Okay. Kenneth Worm Man is trying to pull a Ronald McDonald Miller scam on us. He's probably trying to pay her off. Relax, but he's harmless. I'm sending him back to the minor leagues. Just be cool, hey, man. Calm down. Cool hey, what do you think you're doing over here, Twimp? I was helping him with some math. No, bullshit. You're trying to pull a Ronald Miller scam. A what? You better get back to your own side, or I'm gonna send you back to Geeksville in a milk cart. Would you guys do something? Oh, return of the living bread. Why don't you lay off? I want you to go back where you belong, Jose. Take your hands off Kenneth, or I'll break your arm. Your pitching arm. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, don't make me laugh, lawn boy. Let's go. No! You broke your arm once before, remember? You fell out of our treehouse. Kenneth picked you up, and we carried you 12 blocks to the hospital. Hey, you cried all the way. We were all friends then, remember? And now you want to end his life? Because he's talking to Patty on your side of the cafeteria. Oh, man, it's stupid. I know, because that's where I wanted to be. On your side, with your crowd. And I messed up. See, I tried to buy my way in. But Ken, he's not trying to buy anybody. He's just trying to make friends. Being himself. Cools, nerds, your side, my side. Man, it's all bullshit. It's just tough enough to be yourself.
cover it. I saw a crack in the moon last night.